Hi learners! Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about the types of fractions. Let's start by defining the fraction. Fraction represents an equal part of a whole. Let's say we have an apple pie, and it is divided into four equal parts. Each part is called fraction. Fraction has different parts. We have a numerator, that shows how many equal parts that the whole was taken while the denominator indicates how many of those equal parts make up a whole. Fractions of different types, we have proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, like fractions, unlike fractions, and equivalent fractions. The first type of fraction that we're going to discuss is the proper fraction. These are the fractions in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. For example, 3 fourths, 1 half, and 4 over 5. As we can see, the value of our numerators were all smaller compared to the value of all the listed denominators. Let's go now to the second type, which is improper fraction. These are the complete opposite of the proper fraction, because these are the fractions wherein the numerator is greater or bigger than the denominator. For example, 5 over 4, 3 halves, and 6 over 5. Our third type is called mixed fractions. These are the types of fraction wherein a whole number and a fraction is combined into one mixed number. For this fraction, instead of having a numerator and denominator only, we also have a whole number as a part of our mixed number. For example, 3 and 1 fourth, 6 and 5 over 8, and 4 and 7 over 9. In our first example, which is 3 and 1 fourth, our numerator will be 1, our denominator will be 4, while our whole number is 3. Let's have practice. Tell whether the given fraction is a proper fraction, improper fraction, or mixed fraction. For our first item, the given is 3 over 2. Let's examine the numerator. Is it greater or bigger than our denominator? Obviously, 3 is bigger than 2, meaning this is an improper fraction. Let's move on to our next given, 4 and 7 over 8. As we can see, this fraction is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. So, this will fall under a mixed fraction. Our third item is 10 and 1 over 9. Again, this fraction comes with a whole number. So again, this is a mixed fraction. For our last given, 7 over 8, as we can see, our numerator is smaller or lesser than our denominator, so this is a proper fraction. Another type of fraction is called like fractions. These are the fractions that have a similar denominator, regardless if it is a proper or improper fraction. As long as it shows the same denominator, it is like fraction. Let's look at our example. 1 fourth, 3 fourths, and 5 over 4. Let's now have a closer look to unlike fractions. These are the total opposite of like fractions. These are the fractions that have a different denominator regardless if it is a proper or improper fraction. As long as it shows the different denominator, it is considered as unlike fractions. For example, 1 fourth, 
3 over 8, and 5 over 6. Now, let's have a quick practice. Tell whether the given set of fractions is like fraction or unlike fraction. For our first given, it shows different denominators. So, this is unlike fraction. Next, our set of fractions have the same denominators. So, this is like fractions. For our last given, it is still has the same denominators. So, this is like fractions. The last type of fraction that we are going to tackle is the equivalent fractions. These fractions have different numerator and denominator but are equal to the same value, meaning it represents the same proportion of the whole. For example, 1 fourth and 2 eighths. Although they may look different, they are equivalent because their fractional values are just the same. Let's have a quick practice. Tell whether the given fraction is equivalent or not. Does our first given show an equivalent fraction value? The answer is not because 3 over 3 is greater than 3 over 6. Let's have a closer look on our last given. Does it have an equivalent fraction value? Yes, it has. So this is an equivalent fraction. That's all for this lesson. I hope you've learned a lot while having fun. A gentle reminder, never look at your flaws as a weakness. Instead, consider it as an opportunity to grow and learn new things. Thank you and see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.